Meghan and Harry left red-faced over hugely embarrassing with high standard on work projects. Prince Harry and Meghan have struck a better work-life balance since leaving the royal family and taking some time out, claims royal commentator. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been praised for taking time to slow down by a royal author. Omid Scobie revealed that a palace aide had said the couple's work ethic was unbelievable but due to their many commitments, their work would often become all-consuming. Since leaving the royal family, the couple have established their own foundation Archule, and have signed a number of commercial deals, but are currently spending time with their two young children. One of the things I said in the People magazine cover story recently, they were talking about lessons learned by the couple and I was like it's okay to take your time, it's okay to slow down. I remember one comment made by a palisade that was working very closely with the couple, and they were like their work ethic is unbelievable, but boy do they like to jump from one big thing to the next and hold themselves to that incredibly high standard. When you are in the moment, you're not thinking about how much of your life and energy that you're consuming and giving but actually it's all consuming. I think for them to actually move away, being able to find slightly better work-life balance will only do them good in the long run. Whilst the couple were working members of the royal family, they held a number of patronages and Prince Harry held several military titles. Patronages included Rugby Football Union, Smart Works, the London Marathon and for the Duke, Captain General of the Royal Marines. They were also in the process of establishing their own foundation, Sussex Royal. However, following the aftermath of their Megxit decision, they returned their patronages and were stripped of their HRH titles, as they agreed to cease representing the Queen at formal engagements. Since then, the couple have relocated to California and have founded their charitable organization Archule, which is aimed at promoting issues around diversity, female empowerment and mental health. They have also signed a number of lucrative deals with streaming giants, Netflix and Spotify, which are estimated to be worth over £100 million. In recent months, they have announced their first two projects with Netflix, as Prince Harry agreed to produce a docuseries on the 2022 Invictus Games and Meghan signing on to a children's animated series called Pearl. The Duke of Sussex has also announced he will be releasing his memoir in late 2022, whilst the Duchess published her first children's book in June. The Sussexes specified that Archule Audio aims to produce and distribute podcasts, music and audiobooks, but the office replied, applicant must clarify that these are entertainment-based services. Harry and Meghan were asked on June 25 to reply within six months and clarify those points. If they do not reply in time, there is a risk that the applications may be rejected. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on parental leave after the birth of their baby girl Lilibet, but their foundation Archul continues to remain active. While the Duke and Duchess are on parental leave, Archul will continue to do important work and publish stories on the site. We look forward to seeing you. Alongside their media ventures, the couple have also launched a number of initiatives through their foundation Archule, including a fundraiser for the Global Vaccine Alliance, and distributing aid to women and children in Afghanistan. For her 40th birthday on August 4, Meghan announced her latest project 40 by 40, where she was asking 40 friends to donate 40 minutes of their time to help women remobilize for the workplace. In a statement, she said that women had been shouldering the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic, and 2 million women in the U.S. alone had left the workforce. Despite the couple's deal with Spotify, they are yet to announce or release a podcast. Since the birth of their baby daughter in June, the couple are taking time to spend with their young family ahead of committing to more projects. The Sussexes welcomed Lilibet Lily Diana on June 4 at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital. The three-month-old resides with her parents and older brother, Archie Harrison at the couple's home in Montecito, California.